I'm a fourth generation Alaskan, and I grew up with stories of the hairy man. And it scared me so much. And so I had this irrational fear for the longest time of Yeti or Bigfoot. So I thought it'd be funny to purchase the costume uh, to like scare in the middle of the night or something. Then we got the cart, and so I thought it was a good idea maybe to call it Yeti Dogs. And I'm glad we did, because uh, not only is it a great name, but it has also helped me get over my fear of Bigfoot and Sasquatch. I usually get the buffalo jalapeno cheddar. It's my go-to. I don't think I've ever had another one. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs>I'm Erica Steinmaker, and I am the owner operator of Yeti Dogs, based in beautiful Anchorage, Alaska. And we've been serving our customers for the last 10 years. Nice little flavor. Make sure it gets nice and hot. Yeti Dogs is a, a hot dog cart in Anchorage, Alaska. We also have a, a fancy truck that we use, but we're served from a hot dog cart. Our main menu items that we have all the time is our Alaska reindeer sausage, the buffalo jalapeno cheddar dog, the German style bratwurst, the hot link, beef hot dog, and the vegan sausage. What are we gonna go for today? One reindeer? Reindeer sausage. I'm not 100% sure about the history of the recipe and how it came about, but I do know it's very, very Alaskan. We wanted to feature local as best as we can, whether that's our main menu items, our sausages, or it's condiments. What can I get started for you? I'll try the real steak and Ooh, excellent. And then we also do a lot of specialty sausages that we ship up from around the world. Today we have the rattlesnake, um, but we do yak, alligator, crawfish. We did ostrich, but we did that on April Fool's Day, so that probably kind of backfired, you know, because it sounds so ridiculous. Dominic and I are partners in life and in business. Uh, we've been together for a long time, and he is a huge part of Yeti Dogs. I could not do it without him. I really couldn't. You know, she does pretty much everything. I mean, but I'm kind of the roadie. I just, you know, drive the truck, usually help set up, and then I usually take off back to work, and then come back in the evening, pick her up, and then, uh, you know, same thing. All right, well, we're making two of our most iconic sausages. We got the reindeer sausage, and we have the buffalo jalapeno cheddar dog. Before Yeti Dogs, I had zero food experience. I was actually a flight attendant, and my food experience was literally handing out bags of chips to my passengers. The reindeer dog, the traditional way to do it is to split it. The uh, buffalo has cheese inside of it, so I just score it enough to make sure that cheese doesn't explode on you when you bite into it. A lot of hot dog carts will steam their buns. I like to toast mine because I feel like it holds up to the dogs and the condiments better. But that's our traditional bun. This is our pretzel bun. And we just give it a nice little grill. Ready for the secret ingredients. Coca-Cola onions. The Coca-Cola onions, it's, it's very much an Alaskan thing. I think it was started here. Uh, the hot dog cart's downtown. You just heat it up and then it will, the onions will soak up the sweetness from the soda. It's hard to say no to a good hot dog. They're like known around the world. I get a lot of tourists who instantly understand what a hot dog cart is. You know, they don't really need too much explanation. She was getting ready to visit from Puerto Rico and I told her about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, she couldn't wait to try it when she came out. Yeah, he sent me a video munching. Well, Yeti Dog started back in 2013. Dominic, my partner, his brother bought a little cafe. And with that cafe came this hot dog cart. So we bought it from him, just like it's hot dogs. It's easy, right? It shouldn't be that difficult. 10 years later, I still don't know if I know what I'm doing, but yeah, we're having a good time while we're doing it. Hi there. Hello. How you doing? Good. Right on. So when I started out at King K Park, the first couple years, it was very much just people stumbled upon Yeti dogs. We had no presence. But now, I mean, you know, we kept going at it every day, showing up to work, and 
we'd meet people and so and so would tell their neighbor, oh, I had this great hot dog. And, you know, before we know it, we won hot dog vendor of the year in 2016 and 2018, put us on like a national level. That was all thanks to our customers. I hope we can live up to being deserving of them. How many free Yeti dogs have you got so far? Six. Every Thursday when they're, when they're here uh, for the past three years, even when they're not here, we don't, we don't, we feel like we're cheating on them if we go somewhere else. <laughs> I have two suppliers. One is Indian Valley Meats and one is Alaska Sausage and Seafood. Both are great, but today we're picking up from Indian Valley Meats. So all those Alaskan hunters out there, they'll process their, their meat and then they'll bring it here and they'll process it into a steaks or sausages, whatever they want. Nobody's here yet. <laughs> Just here to pick up pick my up order. Yes, you please. Got, got it right here. Wonderful. I get my buffalo jalapeno cheddar dogs. They also do reindeer and all sorts of different smoked sausages. 50 pounds of the buffalo jalapeno cheddar. Give me a nice light one. <laughs> My normal day, I wake up at 7.30. I check the weather because I work outside. Weather is very important to me. Get to my commissary. I hope to be at my commissary between 8.30, 9 o'clock. My home away from home. Bye, bye. Get everything ready. If I was smart, I would have done most of it the day before, but I'm not that smart, so I usually like to leave it to the last minute. Not gonna lie, being a food vendor has its challenges. For me, one of my biggest challenges, every aspect of the business is falls upon your shoulder. Truck's definitely recognizable, you know. If, oh, you you guys want the shiny truck. Like everyone knows this people with the shiny truck. Funny thing is my friends, he used to go on Craigslist all the time and he'd look up, see if there's any food trucks for sale. And you know, he's scrolling through and there's step vans like this. And I'm like, wait a minute, that looks like my neighbor's house. And I was like, that's crazy. Directly across the street from my house. He had it running and you know, he told me the price and I was like, yeah, absolutely, I'll, I'll buy it, perfect. Uh, it was in rough shape. Dominic had the idea to turn it into kind of like an Airstream look, you know, like polish it down, get it all nice and shiny. Little did I know how much work it was going to be to turn it into the Yeti containment vehicle. I myself lost track of how many hours I put into it after 500 hours, and then I just couldn't count anymore. I mean, it paid off. She's beautiful, but if we would have known how much work went into it, we might have changed our minds. Thanks for coming out here today. Hey, no problem. Thanks for being out here in the rain. I'll say, yeah, thanks for being out. We didn't expect it. They've been around for a while, and uh, you know, you go to different events around town, around Anchorage, and they're there. So, oh, Yeti Dogs is a staple. They're like the OGs around here. <laughs> out Kincaid, here, downtown, special events. You can find Yeti Dog anywhere. We open at 11 every Thursday, and they, as you saw today, as you're filming, they have a line even when it's some of the nastier weather we have out here. I would say we're, we're street food icons. Humbly, humbly say we're street food icons. After 10 years, we have a good following and we have a little bit of a nest egg to work with. So I think we could potentially brand ourselves more. I don't know what that looks like yet. What's to be determined? Could just be me in 10 years <laughs> with a hunched back. <laughs> Not gonna lie, there's been days I've had this much energy, but then at the same time, I'll see my regulars and they just cheer me up and they make it worthwhile. Hey, how's it going? Good, doing well. You're gonna get a kiss from the masked uh, Yeti. This ought to be, this is a new one. I'm sure I've been kissed by other people. <laughs> We're ready for the bite. Professional. Mm. This one did not squirt me with cheese, thank goodness. Usually it likes to squirt the cheese out. <laughs>